So if you've been following along, you know I've been playing with this little guy right here, the Pi 1541, which is a cycle accurate uh, recreation of the Commodore 1541 disk drive using a Raspberry Pi Zero. And along the way, I've been kind of befuddled about how do I create a new disk image? You know, like if you stick in a floppy and you format it, and you're ready to use it, how do you do that with this device? Well, it turns out you don't really do it with this device. What you do is you use an emulator, at least this is one way to do it. I'm sure there are folks out there who tell me that there are other ways, but what we'll do today in this video is I will show you how to create your own D64 image that you can load onto the SD card and you can transfer it from your computer to here and you've got a blank floppy disk. The great thing about it is these are virtual. You can create hundreds, thousands of blank floppy disks and just have a big time on your Commodore Plus 4 in my case, but this will also work for the VIC-20, the 128, and the Commodore 64, as well as the C16, since that's a variant of the Plus 4. Great news though for all of you is that it will also work on a device such as this, this is an SD to IEC device. This particular one is for my VIC-20. It plugs right into the back. But the same process I use for the Pi-1541 will actually work for the SD to IEC device as well. So without further ado, it's a pretty short video, but I think it'll be helpful because I had uh, problems finding uh, a really visual description of how to do this. There were some bulletin board posts uh, that had this description lined out, but I think the visual will help those of you that might be new. So let's go ahead and learn how to create our own D64 disk image for our Pi 1541 and our SD to IEC. The first thing we need to do is download the Versatile Commodore emulator, otherwise known as Vice. Link in the video description below. To download the version that you need, simply click the download link and find the version you need and follow the instructions to install on your computer. For my use case, I need to use a micro SD to USB adapter. I'll plug that in here and then I'll plug it into an extension for my USB port on my computer so I can access the card. And now for the fun part, we get to load Vice on our computer. We're gonna do a list here to show that everything is cleared out. Now let's try and load something from uh, the disk that is not actually connected. And you can see that here. So we need to create and attach an empty disk image using this option from the file menu. That'll bring up this dialog box. Up here in the name, we will add the name that we want to call the disk image just for our reference on the computer. Then we're also going to name the device or the image. And this will be the name that we will see when we list the image on our Commodore computer. The ID can be any two characters you wish. It doesn't matter. We're gonna skip all the other types. We're going to use the .d64 image. We're going to save that. That will now create that image and attach it to the Vice emulator. So let's go back up to our load command, reload it. You'll notice it found something this time. We'll list and you can see that we now have a disk image attached. Let's create a quick program and see if we can save that program to our newly created .d64 disk image. Of course, I'm using the simple kind of hello world thing here. You'll notice that as I run, I get an error. That's because line zero is still included from the list from the floppy disk image. So I've cleared that out by typing in a zero. Everything runs fine now. Let's go ahead and save that to our disk image, which is like saving it to a floppy. Uh, so we'll give it a name. We'll call it Retro Combs. Print, close those quotations. Hit the comma eight, which is a reference to the device ID. It's saving, you'll see it's saving to that uh, disk image. There it is, let's go ahead and new that out. If I can type, yep, nope, got it, list, ready to go, it's cleared. Let's see if we can load it from the disk image now using our load retro comb space print. Close those quotations, let's put that eight in there for that disk ID again, and it's searching. It loaded something, it lists, and there it is. Excellent, so we run it, and then we see we are able to save and load from that disk image. Now what we're going to do is simply quit Vice. 
Now that we have a working .d64 image, let's go ahead and move that over to our SD card so that we can insert it into our Pi 1541 or SD to IEC device. So you'll notice on the SD card, there is a folder called 1541. We wanna double click on that folder. Then we wanna drag that .d64 file into that 1541 folder. You'll see it right there. And then we're going to eject the SD card. Okay, now what we wanna do is eject the micro SD adapter from the USB port. We're going to pull the SD card that we have the .d64 file. I have a SanDisk 16 gigabyte. That's probably a little overkill. We're going to insert that into the Pi 1541. Yes, you'll notice I have a little 3D printed case I'm working on. More on that later. It's a little project I'm working on that I plan to share with the community later. We'll insert that into the Pi 1541. Looks like it is ready to go. Now let's connect all the cables. As you know, I've been playing around with the Commodore Plus 4, and that's what we're going to connect the Pi 1541 to. First of all, we're going to plug in the IEC cable. This is already plugged into the back of the Commodore Plus 4. Then what we need to do is plug in the USB power. I have this plugged into a, kind of a USB wall wart that's plugged into the uh, power supply that's connected on the desk. When we do that, you'll notice it'll click on briefly and then it's off. Well, don't worry about it. The green light's on for power, but what we need to do now is we need to go over here and turn the power on our computer and you'll see that that will provide a signal saying, hey, I am ready for use. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to select the disk image. And I'm going to do that by clicking the down arrow. We're going to find the image we just created, the retro combs image. We select it and you'll see that it's highlighted and it is now ready for use on our Commodore Plus 4. Let's move over to our Plus 4 and see if we can see the disk image. And we can if when I use the directory command that's available with the Plus 4. We're going to go up to the retro print basic program that I created and we're going to use our deload command. We're gonna to go to the end of that line and then I'm gonna hit the escape queue and that will clear everything to the right of the line. It's searching our image, it's loaded, it will list it and there we go, it is working. So now let's go ahead and run the program and then the next thing I wanna do is just create a really, another small program so that we can save it back and you can see what happens when we save something to the image and here we go. So let's give that a shot now. What I'm going to show you now is what it looks like on the Pi 1541 when we access that new disk image we created. There is an indicator light on the Pi 1541 that shows when you access that image. So let me show you that now. Look over in the lower left-hand corner. When I hit return, you're gonna see a little red access light. And there we go. And that is what it looks like when you access the image on our Pi 1541, which seems to be working well. Well, I hope that was helpful for new users of the SD to IEC device and the Pi 1541. Remember, if you want to learn more tips about how to get the most from your retro computing, primarily Commodore right now, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And also be sure to check out my website at stephencombs.com. And also be sure to follow along as I work through the Plus 4 user manual chapter by chapter. And you can find more information for that project at stephen.combs slash plus 4. Four. So thanks for watching this video. Retro Combs out.